in, in the next four people, for every single joint that we talk about, next one's elbow, okay? And we do the exact same thing every time. There's two drapes. Well, there's a lot of drapes, but there's two main drapes that I ask you guys to remember more than anything else. That's split drapes, and then the other one is going to be an extremity drape. Okay? So tonight, being shoulder, shoulder and hips, they use the split drapes or U drapes. Okay? When it comes to elbows um, and knees or feet and wrists, we use extremity drapes. Okay, so those are your main drapes that you're going to have to know. You're going to have to know others too, but those are what I'm really focusing in on. Position of the patient is really, really important too. So a beach chair position would be someone in exactly that position. About a 45 degree angle, and then the knees slightly flexed. You can relax. And so they would have like a table or some type of apparatus that would hold the patient in this position. Got it? This would be just straight a supine position. Then we have the lateral position, which is them up on their side. And then we also do the prone position, which is them on their back or on their stomach. Okay. Most prone positions are going to be uh, spine cases or an Achilles tendon. Maybe some nerve. Maybe if they had to do a popliteal nerve or something like that, um, they may require that the patient go prone. Sometimes they do like a semi-quasi-lateral too. Uh, the doctors can be pretty creative. But the point of what I'm trying, this whole point of this is there's a lot more that goes on than just this. Or even better. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot more that goes on. Um, it starts when I first get into the operating room, the very first thing that I do uh, I'm in total scrubs, I have a mask on, I have a hood on, or I mean a hat, and, and uh, I don't wear booties, but you should, okay? Uh, but I'll grab my gloves, I come over to the back table, I open them up, I help open up anything that the scrub tech is opening. Maybe they have, you know, they could be opening up light handles, edge mark, other drapes, maybe they'll have a stack of it. I'll help open all that stuff up for the scrub tech. They want your help. If you just come in and put your gloves up, that's something the doctors would do. They don't want another doctor. They want help. You are help. You're cheap. Okay? So get your ass in there and help out. Don't just sit around. It's the number one complaint that I hear about some of the techs that I work with is they don't do shit. Oh, I, I have no idea what they say about me. But I can tell you that I hear a lot of complaints. You know, oh, God. Chris, well, how can you train your techs down there to come and help like you help? You know? Well, let me tell you this. We don't get breaks in the operating room. Got it? We don't get lunches in the operating room. You have to find your break. You have to find your lunch. So I understand some techs. As soon as the case is over, they dart out. They go get something to eat, something to drink, maybe pee. Okay? So there's argument there. I understand it. But the number one complaint that I hear is we don't help out. And then, uh, and that's also in the surgery centers on the outside too. I hear the exact same thing. So, most shoulder, sur shoulder surgeries are going to be uh, in a beach chair or a lateral position. Um, we're going to set her up in a lateral position as if we were going to do a shoulder scope. A shoulder scope can be done in a beach chair or a lateral. Okay? Um, rotator cuff repairs, total shoulders, hemiarthroplasties, those are all done ORIFs are pretty much done in a beach chair position. The only position that is strictly for a lateral is pretty much going to be just uh, uh, an arthroscopy. But we can fix rotator cuffs through arthroscopy. We can do glenoid, uh, I mean labral repairs through, our, through arthroscopy. So, uh, but pretty much lateral is going to be straight, straight arthroscopy. So patient is laying on the table or not laying on the table. I help get the patient after I oh, help open up the room. I help get the patient over to the operating room table. The patient's not allowed to have their feet crossed. While I'm doing all this, I somehow manage to get things I'm going to need for the case. Um, she's going to need an axillary roll for the axilla. Okay? She's going to need some other types of padding. You know those egg crate type padding that you see? Um, that's what this is for now. But I'm, I'm missing my egg crate padding. 
but I'm going to use this as they crave. So as the patient is going to sleep, anesthesia is talking to them, slipping them some margaritas in the in, in, in the IV, um, and you're just sitting there not really doing much. Bullshit. You're helping anesthesia. Okay. They might need some cracoid pressure. They might need some uh, some other type of help. Even as simple as me doing this, relax. Helps them. Let me tell you why. Because when they go to put the tube, relax, open your mouth. When they put the tube down the throat, they are looking straight down or epiglottis. Okay? And when all the, they don't, they're not looking at where that tube is going. They grab the tube and they got that mouth open and they're trying to feed it down there. If I just do this, it allows them to slide the tube in just a little bit. Can you do that on this side? I couldn't see what you did. You gotta relax. <laughs> it, 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 you don't have to do it, but I mean, this, just the littlest thing can help out. Is the IV running? Is the pulse oximeter? The pulse ox measures the oxygen in the blood. Is that hooked up? Is that all the machines working? They're going to ask you, hey, can you check the pulse ox? And you're going to look for their fingertip. Maybe it's on their toe. You know? Is the I oh, can you check the IV? Where is the IV? Is it in the wrist or is it in the antebral space? You know? So things that they might want you to be able to pick up on to make sure that things are, are moving right along. Uh, but that's what I do. I sit there and I help out. The, uh, the, the nurse or the circulating nurse, she's always on the other side, okay, helping out. As soon as the patient goes to sleep, it's my, it's my gig. You're asleep. Patient's asleep. I have to rotate the patient up on the lateral side. I will typically grab and pull them up onto one side. Great for your back, let me tell you. If they are in a lateral position, you want the knees slightly flexed. You want the hips straight up and down. I will need help. Are you the doctor or the prep type? Um, oh, you're the ortho type. You're going to be on that side. Okay. You're going to slide the axillary roll slightly below the axilla. Because you don't want pressure up in the armpit, you want it below the armpit. No, 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 not that one. This one, the one she's laying on. Cool. <laughs> See, it goes right below the axilla, not in the axilla. Got it? This arm will go right here. What else might need padding? Between the knees? Between the knees would need some padding. Normally we stick a pillow between the knees. But some of the A crate, how about the perineal nerve? It's always the down leg or the down part of the body that's going to have a problem. How about the heel? Chris, they put those compression? Um, they do. Every it's not everyone, but a lot of them. Okay. Uh, you could put some on the hip. I typically do not, um, but you can. I have seen people do that. I definitely hit the perineal nerve and the heels. And if, you, if, if both legs are on the ground, if it's a supine, you have to put both heels, both, both knees. But we'll get to that. Um, again, you can put a pillow between the legs. The arm's going to go in a positioner because you can't sterilize it at her side. You got it? So the scrub nurse, which is? Oh. No, I'm not the nurse. I'm the scrub. You're the scrub chef. You're the doctor. We don't have a scrub nurse, do we? We need a scrub nurse. Anybody want to be scrub nurse? Come on back here. Come here, big boy. Stop throwing it. No, but he's not scrubbing. He facilitates uh, between sterile environment and unsterile environment. So he's watching, making sure all this shit is happening. So uh, you're not on quite yet, but you will. So once I got the patient up, I will tape the patient down too. Actually, take the tape and tape right over the ASIS to hold the patient from going forward or backwards. They also have, this patient will probably be on some type of positioner or bean bag, which is exactly that. It's a bean bag that they're laying on. Once I got them up in the right position, I fold the bean bag up. I pack it all up, all the beans up against her, and they suck all the air out of the bean bag. And then it, it totally molds to her. Wow. And it keeps her in a lateral position. That is cool. That'd be a bean bag. We will, hopefully we'll get to see that soon. <clears throat> So right now we're assuming I've padded, you're good, you're good. I've got I'm the axillary around. roll in, I got the bean bag up, all the air is sucked out, I got tape over the ASIS. 
Okay, so she's not going anywhere. Now, the nurse is going to scrub tech, needs to make sure she's already get, gowned and gloved, so you're gonna rinse your hand, you're gonna gown and glove yourself. Um, Me and the nurse on this case because I'm not going to get her. Maybe we can. Typically, we would have this, um, she wouldn't have a top on, so we can get to the shoulder itself. But as of right now, you're going to hold the arm up, because it would be in a positioner. Maybe a finger traps connected to an IV post that's holding the arm up like this, while he paints it with betadine and gets it all cleaned and ready to go. But we don't have that. So he has to facilitate, you're going to go put some gloves on, and you're going to put your gloves on sterilely. Do you know how to do that? Yes, sir. She doing that right? Oh, nurse, she's tied up. What did you say? If you guys been watching the videos, by the way, on Tuesday, after I give the quiz, your practical exam for that quiz is going to be to put these gloves on sterilely as if you were in the clinic doing it. Meaning you're not scrubbing your hands, you're just going to put them on sterilely. There was a video that went out at, uh, that um, I asked Meg to uh, share with you guys, and I know she did. There's your gloves. On the pizza box. On the pizza box. So how do you open up, how do you do that sterilely? Can you show them? Right here. Let's see if he does this right. Go ahead. Don't touch the table. Don't touch the glove on the inside. Yeah, don't touch the glove and then you open it this way. Yep. Make sure you fold it to where it stays open. Yeah. You can touch the inside. There you go. Which one are you going to touch first? Okay. Nope. Mm. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. So what he cannot do is touch the uh, inside the cuff. He can't touch anything. He can just touch this side of the cuff. Let me show you a quick and easy way of doing this. So here... Put your hands in. See, I'm just touching the outside of the cuff. Or actually, it's the inside of the cuff. Put my hand in. Yep. Just like this. And then I can peel it over. By the inside. By the inside. Can't touch from here out or on the inside. Now, the next part that he has, since if he did that one right, I wasn't watching. How would he put that one? Well, this is our sterile. That, because you want to put it on the inside. Right. No, no. Put your hand. Put those. This is sterile. This so is sterile. So you can touch. Let's put it on the inside here. Oh, okay. There you go. And then do that. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is how you do Very it good. in the clinic as well. That's how you would do it in the clinic for some sterile technique. Maybe they're doing an injection. This is how they do it. Maybe they want you to put a sterile uh, dressing on. Got it. So that that that's how you would do a sterile dressing. So now that his glove, his gloves are on. This is dura prep. This is something that we use uh, to prep the skin. Um, we can use betadine. They can use an alcohol base. They can use dura prep. Okay. So basically what he's going to do is he's, got to, he's going to be in charge of sterilizing this shoulder for surgery. So he's going to reach in, grab that. <coughs> yep, just grab that. You're going to turn around and pop it, hit the bottom of it. 
Yep. Come on, man. Hit it like, oh, like hard? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Now, turn it upside down. Or turn it that way. Shake it. There you go. Wait for it to start turning color down here. You can probably, yep, there it goes. He's starting to bleed through. So now he's going to, uh, what I would do is uh, you start, always start where you're going to make your incision or where you're going to operate. And you scrub that first and you get bigger and bigger and bigger until you do the whole arm. Okay? So we might get you a little dirty. Okay, perfect. So go ahead. A little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. Good. And then what you want to do is probably switch hands, put that in that hand. There you go. Take that hand and lift her up. Lift that arm up. Very good. And keep going until it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you do the whole freaking arm. So bigger, bigger around each side. Yep. Now, the orthotech and the doctor now, they go scrub. I don't think that's going to come out. It'll come out. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely so yeah she's getting that <laughs> you should have been a nurse dude <laughs> get in there all the way up all the way all the way all the way you're going to be sticky keep going keep going keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> she's going to have permanent now scrub diet. tech is going to gown and glove ortho tech and doctor Get out of the way, people. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. So my arm's going to be orange. I'm going to look at that spray tan on one arm. All the way to the fingers and everything. So, yes, make it match. Just make it even. Do the other arm, too. Yeah. You can't get her armpit. What's wrong with you? Oh, shit. Get in there. Yeah. If it's sticky, Amanda, you could get them waxed. <laughs> Good. That's what I've always wanted. An orange arm. You're an Oompa Loompa now. I have to sleep. I don't even know. I'm drinking a pizza. I'm just gonna not even hold my arm up for you anymore. Nurse, you need help. Oh, we need another nurse. Nurse can't do it all. That's okay. You don't have to. Don't tie her up. Don't tie her up. Go ahead. You can still gown and glove. This is what it's like in real life. If there's not enough people in the room to do this, sometimes this is all you got. What are you going to do? She's going to glove you guys up. You're going to take the arm from her, from him. Once you, they take the arm, then you immediately tie them up. Okay. That's right. Hold her arm up. So I'm standing when I get it on the gown. Oh, you take the gloves off. Oh, okay. Normally, don't they have the, the iodine in like a, just like an alcohol kind of packet? You know what I mean? They this just, is what they use right here. Oh, for sure. Yep. Okay. I'm liking it so far. You guys are doing a great job. Good job. Now, <laughs> give him a non or an impervious stockinette. Yep. This thing? That's an impervious stockinette. Yes, that goes to the orthotech. And the orthotech's going to stick their hand on the that side. Yep. You're going to open that up and grab that arm just like that. Good. Now, here's the problem. Watch out. This is not sterile. Very good. Now, you take the arm. You take your gloves off, tie them up. What do I do? Throw it in the garbage. You can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great as a doctor, by the way. That's what they do. <laughs> do they uh, sit in at this point and kind of make sure you're setting everything up right, or they just assume? Sometimes I'm the only one in the room doing this, and the yeah. doctor's out tooting shit. Yeah. Some nurse out there, you know. <laughs> Who knows? What is this called? And that's an impervious stockinette. They have another, They have the no, real stockinette too. We just on the inside. grabbed no, it. No. In. no, 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 no. 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 It's on the inside. Right inside. Oh. You tied mine wrong too. That's why we're here. 
But he can clean an arm like you wouldn't believe. She's been corrected. Yes. So that's okay. We're just going to let it be the way that it is. Now you're going to roll that down. We need a impervious down drape. This one? That looks, um, that looks like an about an impervious down drape, yes. So you and the doctor, are, you're going to come over on this side. And you guys are going to open that up, spread it open, and lay it down without <coughs> contaminating yourselves to where it's... No, you, well, you don't want to... Because remember, you're going to operate right here. Yep. There you go. So you guys are going to... Yep. Very good. You, norm, typically what happens is this gets folded like this. Okay. Okay? And then it goes, Underneath. you normally drag it from the feet down, so you normally do this. Okay. Underneath the arm? Right, yep, right to there, without touching her. Very good, just like that, perfect. Perfect. Now you do the, the, the split drapes, or you could even grab the other half sheet. Grab that other half sheet on the top. Yep. And do the same thing, but over the head. Bye bye. <laughs> now that one you can go completely sideways. Remember, you, it doesn't. Way. Yeah, it doesn't have to be totally unfolded. Just like that. Remember, it has to be like this. You so like it like this. Yep. Perfect. Let it go. It falls off. Falls off. She's not laying down right anymore. Okay. Now the split drapes. Sorry, <laughs> Now, this gets tricky. See where it's got an arrow, tells you what to do? Bring it in all over here. Just like that. Bring this in, it's going to come just like this. Yep. Now, no, no, you had it right. Just like that. Okay. Now, you over there, you are doing such a good job as an ortho tech, because that's what we do, we hold the arms up. You're going to hold with the other arm, and you're going to help undo this. This is where it gets a little tricky. Now, you are going to take the lead on this um, and unfold part of it. Go ahead, throw it towards me. There you go. That towards you. Very good. Now, don't reach too far. You're all about up here. Yep. So you're going to grab one end and peel this back. You guys are, like, afraid to touch it. Remember, you're sterile. The only thing you can't touch is over there. Everything's protecting you now. Now, again, unfold that down. Very good. Take the adhesive off. Kind of hard to do one-handed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful, because once it sticks, it don't ever come out. So, yep, there you go. There you go. Good. Now, you are going to take from the inside with one hand. That hand is going to take over here. Yep. And you're going to stay just how you are. Bring that in. You're going to set this. This is you're not going to get... Uh, this is going to mark her sterile field. They always start out bigger and work their way in. So this is going to come over. Oh, keep coming, yeah. keep coming, keep coming. She's going to lay it down where she wants it. Very good. Now, why did you do that? I didn't tell you to peel it off. Oh. You're marking the sterile field. That's what you're going to do. Got it? <laughs> we want the other uh, uh, you drape. Same exact thing from the head down now. Dr. Orthotech. All you do is hand, yep, is hand that, right? yep, just like that. It's not shit, it's, it's a U-drape. Over that one? Just like that, yep, perfect. Now you're going to have to, you're going to need to do more because she's one-handed. you got to hold this, yep, make them down like that, unfold it. Very good. Let her, remember, you couldn't do it last time, why are you going to jump into back in there again? Let her do that. Now you grab that tab, put it, peel it just a little bit. Very good. Very good. You're switching hands. Good. Switch hands. Good. Yep. Go ahead and flip it up. And re remember, no, no, no. remember, you want this part way down there. There you go. Now you're going to fold it around. Now what would be nice is if the doctor took the arm, that would help you, right? See, that's a little thing. That's a little... Get your hand up! <laughs> can't let it drop down. So just that little maneuver by doing that shows um, that you're thinking ahead. 
Got it? Doctrines like that. So that's an extremity drape right there. Okay? Or not extremity drape, split sheets. Commander, are you okay? Yeah. You breathe? <laughs> now the arm will go to its side. Then it, that, it would fit into some, it would, they would put like a, uh, 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 like a, like a, a traction device, like a boot, but it holds the arm, and then they would hook it, and it would pull about five pounds of pressure, and it would constantly pull on that while they operate, okay? Not bad? Why are your arms down? Come on. You said this is the split sheet, and that's the user? These are split or use. They're same, oh, okay, same okay. thing. Okay. A U drape, some people will classify a U drape as a clear drape that you would put on in the exact same split type fashion, but they uh, normally would put that on before surgery um, it'll let before me they go prep so that they don't 30 minutes. a mess. I call it a split or a U, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Any questions so far? Not at all? Not one question. I thought you guys did very well, Gowning Glove and yourself. She gowned and gloved the doctor and the ortho tech. We had some issues there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so how he was able to uh, put on his gloves, that is going to be your test also on Tuesday when I give you guys a quiz. After the quiz, I'm going to break out a pair of gloves. I'm going to make you guys show me, pass or fail, if you can put on sterile gloves. But Chris, when you open them, like those flaps on the outside, those technically like almost touch anyway when you open it, you know? When you when you open up the glove? Yeah. Like don't those flaps, I mean, granted you don't want them to touch, but they do touch the table or that. No. How this would work? Just like this. I want to open them up because, see my now this is contaminated? It's stuck. So now you want to make sure, since I'm touching the inside of here, it doesn't fold back. Got it? I have to always take my right hand first. And I go inside the cup. Did I just put a hole in it? I did. It's weak. And if I didn't get my hands in there perfect, I'm okay with that. I always go back, fix things that I need to fix. Got it? Not, there's a video on it. I sent it to you. I put it on the Facebook group. Yep. I'd go back and make sure that you can do that. You have gloves to practice. Make sure you <laughs> practice. The key thing when you're folding that is that it doesn't come back. Right. That's what you don't want. So I was saying when you grab the outside, like this, so your index finger technically is touching the outside. So wouldn't that be the table that you did Well, oh, if I was doing it on this table, right? yes. But you wouldn't do it on this table. Right. Okay. Well, this is you for clinic. Yeah. yeah. This because okay. you you might, but that, you remember, you're doing this before they can get to this part. Right, right. Of course. Okay. So it wouldn't make sense. Things fly up here. <laughs> We're gonna do um, after we do on quiz on Tuesday. Uh, we will. Um, I'm gonna review for quiz right now. Make sure I'm gonna have the quiz in front of me. Make sure I've touched all bases. Um, so we'll set put back the lab. Um, I thought you guys did a pretty good job every time. Elbow is next. It's not gonna be the same people. Yeah, poor girl. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, she was sleeping. I was doing a good job. <laughs> You're really getting into your role. You can clean up now. So what drapes do we use to review? You drape, what else? Non-permeable stockinette. Oh, what drapes. What else did we use? Non-permeable. Drape, though. Oh, drape. Non-permeable drape, right? Blanket? Oh, split, split sheet. sheet. Or the impervious down drape? Oh, impervious. The impervious one is always going to be like this type of material. Even though technically they all put like a little something in there that's impervious. 
Even on the other ones? You can go ahead and put this back. Back to lab? Right back to lab. Uh, we'll do a Sarmiento cast on Tuesday after quiz. Quiz will take probably less than an hour. It's 10 points, that's all. Okay.